Hello everybody, my name is Mary Cruz and today together with our CCRC Kids Online Ministry, we want to welcome you to our praise party. Yes, today we are going to praise Jesus our Lord. So I'm going to invite you to enjoy the program and be ready to praise Jesus the Lord. My name is Antonio, and I'm CCRCK. Can I tell you something? I really love Jesus. He's my friend. I like having him around in my life. He makes my life so sweet, just like peanut butter and jam. Mmm. I feel like making one now. Can I see me make one? Come on closer. You need a plate. Two pieces of bread, a knife, a peanut butter tub, and a jam jar. You take two pieces of bread, put it on the plate, take the knife, you open the peanut butter jar, and you put the knife in. You put peanut butter on one side of the on one of the um, slices, then you clean the knife, then you peel. Open the jar. Then you, you you take these two pieces and then put it together. Finally, eat the eat the sandwich. Let's go.
welcome to CCRC's Children's Newscast. Today we have a very special program for you. My name is Sandra Brum and I'm the anchor for this CCRC's news station. We have a special guest and a very wonderful show. Today we actually are going to be having a special DJ and it's called Praise Party. So yeah, party, party, party! Oh! It's party. I'm sorry, we're having some interruption here. I don't know what's going on. And who are you in security? Security? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that interruption. Not sure exactly what just happened here. But what I was trying to say is we have a great party lining up for you. And it's basically all about praise. It's a praise party. We're going to be praising the Lord, boys and girls. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be raising our hands and having a party. Oh. I just realized our special guest is DJ EJ. I hope that wasn't him that was there and I called security. Oh no, what did I do? Security, please bring him back, bring him back. Oh, I am so sorry. Are you, do you happen to be DJ EJ? Yes, why did you get me out? I am so sorry, I was like, we, well, we have to be very secured over here and make sure that there's no interruptions. I didn't know you were going to come in with a boom box. But I guess he is a DJ. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's no portable DJ player thing, so. Oh, well, please have a seat. You're our special guest today. So, boys and girls, <laughs> sorry for that interruption, but this is actually EJ. So, EJ, tell us a little bit about yourself and what brings you here today and what why do you love to be this DJ EJ? What is it all about? Uh, dancing, singing, for all the answers. Oh, nice. And so DJ EJ, I, I know EJ obviously stands for your name, like Emmanuel Joseph, but like that name is very profound as well. And you're here to do a praise party. So tell us more about all this connection with your initials. EJ. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I think with all that music that he listened so close with that boombox to his ears, he's not listening to me. Let me repeat that question again. EJ? Yes, sorry. I, I know, I, I guess you that music's too loud to your ears, but please tell us, what is this? What is EJ? What are you all about? And why do you conduct a praise party? Um, because I like doing music stuff. Um, and praise just means music, right? No, no. Well, boys and girls, we're going to tell you a little bit more today and help EJ. We have to be very careful when we do things that we're doing it for the right reasons. Sometimes people get up, caught up in all the fame and forget why we're here and what's the music that we're doing and singing for and who is it for. So boys and girls, stay tuned in this new station where you get to understand why we praise, who we praise for, and who is it all about? Hey kids, today we're going to talk about praising God. It's something that the Bible says we shouldn't do just once a month or once a week. We should do it every day. Let's talk about praise. Get ready! So, what is praise? It's just a fancy word for telling God how much we love Him. Think about it like this. Have you ever told your dad how much you love him and then showed him with a big hug? Or have you ever told your friends how much you care about them and then sent them a text with a smiley face? Or do you have a stuffed animal that you really love then sing to it while no one's looking? Well, guess what? God is greater than your stuffed animal or the friends you love to text, or even your dad. Can you believe it? And that's why you should praise God every day. Our memory verse says, 
I will praise the Lord at all times. So let's schedule this out. Monday, praise God for my family. I really love those people. Check. Tuesday, praise God that I even have a heartbeat. Check. Wednesday, praise God while I'm getting ready. Don't you just love to sing in the shower? Check. Thursday, praise God when I'm going to bed. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Check. Friday, praise God while I'm eating lunch. Thank you for my food. Check. Saturday, praise God while I exercise. Check. Sunday, praise God at Kids Church. Check. See how that works, kids? Just remember, God deserves our praise. So make it a part of your life every day. Hi everyone, it's me, the Artiste Zena. Tonight we're going to be making musical instruments because it's a praise party, woohoo! So, I have some ideas for you from to use recycled paper and also to use different sizes of dry foods or items from your house so you don't have to go outside and find them. And uh, to show you how each of the items might have a different sound, I wanted to uh, do a little test. So here we have some small noodles and I'm gonna just use a funnel here and put them in the can. There we go, small noodles. Then my bigger size noodles. Wait, that won't work because they don't go into my funnel properly. So there's some of the elbow noodles that we use to make um, our mac and cheese. So we'll put that in there. Next thing to put in would be these uh, chickpeas. You can use dried beans as well. Now already, I hope you can hear the difference when I'm putting them in. So you want to put them in your bowl here, and then we're going to cover up the bowl with a piece of tape when we're happy with the sound. So listen to the sound. in the family can have a different sound. We can even add a little bit of salt to get a little bit of, uh, this will be a little softer noise if we add some salt to it. Now listen. Oops. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It sounds like a heavier sound, like a drum, like a the bass drum. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more chickpeas to this one. On the chickpeas. Yeah, you probably can do this with um, a toilet roll if you want. And we need more more of the small noodles in this one. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close up these and then we're going to be able to play each one of them in the family. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you that you can use plastic bottles as well. And we can even use a toilet roll. And also we have jars. We can use jars as well. So when you end up with your family, I don't know, you can maybe have two, three, four, five people in your family. We all can play some music in the praise party. And so you can use rice, 
noodles, beans, peas, and even some salts for your salt bath or a right um, salt, sea salt. This makes a good noise as well. So we're going to be making all kinds of percussion instruments for the praise party. And as soon as you have yours ready, party on and please send us a little picture of you with your music maker. Bye for now.
Boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about the importance of the grace before meals. Grace before meals. It was a rainy day at Emily's house. Emily, dinner's ready. Come quick before the food gets cold. I want to finish level 22. I have to eat fast. I'm here. Finally, it's time to pray the grace before meals. Do we have to? I have to go soon. 
Excuse me? What's the point of saying the grace before meals? A lot of people don't have food to eat and water to drink. But we have both food and water. We are very fortunate to even have a roof above our heads. But I thought we said it just to bless our food. Yes, sweetie, but we have to thank God for what He provided for us. Wow, so we say the grace before meals because we want to thank God for our food? I'm sorry I didn't want to say it. It's okay. The food's getting cold. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Bon appetit! The end. Wow, wow, that was such a great party. Wow, everyone, I hope you had an awesome time praising the Lord. And now you understand why we praise and who we praise for. So let's hope that DJ EJ now understands. So tell us, DJ, what do you know? Tell us, what is the praise party? And who is it for? Well, Sandra... Now I get it, and I think it was awesome. And now I understand what praise is. Praise is to give thanks to someone very special, God. And it's all about Jam, Jesus, and me. <laughs> and hey, everyone watching right now, thanks so much for watching this monthly special of Kids Connect. Hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.